Hello everyone, welcome to another Fox Tech video. This time we talk about iPad and the weather app. More specifically, how you can set up weather alerts on your iPad. Now, at first, you should know that in case your iPad is running any older version than iPad OS 16, you're not gonna have the option or the app I talk about because Apple added the weather app with iOS or iPad OS 16, so it's not available on the older version, so at first update. But of course, once you do, make sure to open up the app, the weather app like this, and what you have to do is to make sure that you get to this section. So go to the left right here, tap on this panel to show up, and then make sure to tap on the three dots right there. So you can see you can edit list, you can choose the temperature type, or you can tap on notifications. And the weather app needs your permission. In this case, I don't have it enabled right now, so I tap on continue. Would like to send you notification, of course and weather would like to send you critical alerts. Critical alerts always play a sound and appear on the lock screen even if your iPad is muted or do not disturb is on. So in case you want to do that, that's what we want to do. Basically, this is the weather alerts. So in this case, we want to make sure that this is allowed. The critical alerts definitely allow it like this. And here you have the option to decide what's going to apply in this case. So weather can send you notifications for rain, snow, and certain relevant severe weather alerts. So in the current location, I'm going to turn on severe weather. So if I want to just turn on severe weather notification or the next hour precipitation for my current location, it's not going to work. And the reason for it is I don't have access to or I didn't give access to my location to the weather app. So in this case, I'm gonna tap on the settings. You can see here's the settings button right there. So I'm gonna get there. By the way, guys, if you wanna know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is gonna be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's gonna explain every single app on your iPhone. It's gonna be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link it's free to access so yeah go ahead and do that right now and you can see i'm already inside weather and location so i have chosen it to be never in this case it's not going to work well so i'm going to use it to be always so in this case always and precise location is enabled so when i come back you can see that in this section i can now turn on or off severe weather notifications or next hour precipitation stuff in here so that's how it works or i can also do the same stuff for the locations which i have added to my list so let's say i want to be in, informed about severe weather in vienna i can go ahead and enable it like this and hit the done if i want to now the next thing you know is that you're going to get notification from the ipad from the weather app in terms of your severe weather notifications on your location or on the ones that you have chosen. So that's how you technically do it on an iPad. However, you're not limited to just using the built-in app. Of course, if you open up and fire up the App Store, you can search for weather pretty easily. Like this, you get to the weather and you can download the official one from Apple in case you don't do it, but you also have Weather App Pro. You have different ones available. I, for example, like to use my local one, which I use a lot, or for example, you have the Yahoo weather i believe you also have the carrot weather yeah it's right here this one shows you some alerts as well so yeah you can decide if you want to use that one or not but it's up to you make sure to choose something but i'm showing you how you can do it with the native built-in app but keep in mind that there are other third-party apps which are going to do the same thing for you as well so i'm going to wrap up this video right here if you found it informative make sure to leave a thumbs up definitely go ahead and do that and then i will see you in the future of of course, remain a subscriber if you're not a subscriber to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later. Peace out.